assalamu alaikum viewers today's topic is protocol layers so protocol layers uh, networks are complex many pieces hosts routers links of various media application protocols hardware software networks networks is a complex combination of all these things for example uh, we can uh, we uh, we can take the example of uh, air travel organization of air travel is uh, when you purchase ticket take a baggage is checked gates are lo uh, loaded runway take off uh, uh, runway take off airplane routing and uh, we can follow this series airplane routing airplane routing uh, runway landing runway landing gates unload baggage claim tickets complain so this is the whole process a series of steps so if we uh, look at uh, we can we compare these uh, all process to the uh, process of uh, network layers so we can understand easily how the network layers will work layering of airline functionality we purchase tickets baggage is checked gates load runway take off airplane routing 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 and runway land gates unload baggage claim ticket complain this is a departure report the arrival report an intermediate layer. each layer implements a service why its own internal layer actions relying on relying uh, uh, on services provided by layer below so why is layering to provide structure to the design of network protocols network designers organize organize protocols and the network hardware and software that implement the protocol in layers a protocol layer can be implemented in software in hardware or in a combination of the two application layer protocols such as http dns smtp are always implemented in software at the end systems protocols in transport layer are also software based physical and data link layer are responsible for handling communication over a specific link they are typically implemented in network interface card associated with the link the network layer is often a, uh, often a mixed implementation of hardware and software advantages of layering provides structure way to discuss system components modularity makes it easier to update system components internet protocol stack or tcp ip model so what does application uh, layer uh, do supporting network applications ftp smtp and http what does transport layer do process to process data transfer tcp udp and network uh, layer uh, uh, job is to routing of the uh, data grams from source to destination that uses ip and routing protocols so link layer protocol that data transfer between neighboring network elements and physical layer bits on the wire presentation layer allow applications to internet uh, interpret meaning of data for example encryption compression machine specific conventions and session, la session layer synchronization checkpointing recovery of data exchange internet stack missing these layers these services if needed must be implemented in uh, applications thank you very much this is all about layering and network layers please subscribe our channel for further videos in future thank you